right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, sis of YouTube. I just recently had this sent to me, and I'm going to read to you a news report uh, that's over at TheExaminer.com. Um, the headline says, Obama declares national emergency and issues an EO against Russian assets. And the article reads, on June 25th, President Barack Obama issued a letter to the Speaker of the House of Representatives and to the President of the Senate stating that under the International Emergency Economic Powers Act, he was declaring a national emergency due to the actions incurred with Russia and the Russia Federation. Um, the submitted letter provides a declaration to Congress of the President signing Executive Order 13159 and its immediate implementation. I need for y'all to go check that out and see what it says. All right, and it goes on to say that under this a national emergency and executive order, the United States is seizing assets and property owned or managed by the Russian Federation relating to nuclear items and programs tied to highly enriched uranium. Now what we have here, everybody knows that um, Russia is an ally of Syria, which is an ally of um, Iran. And, and it looks like things are starting to heat up some more. Let me read a little bit more of this article here for a second. The ramification of this executive order, along with portions that remains classified to the public, um, have vast consequences for the American people. Early this year, President Obama updated and signed several executive orders. Now, executive orders is his power to go past Congress um, to do whatever he wants. That's basically, in a nutshell, what it is that deal with the complete control and confiscation of U.S. assets, infrastructure, and manpower in case of a declaration of national emergency. As of yesterday, the national emergency has been invoked, opening the door for any number of policies to be enacted by the president going forward. That's the reason why Pastor Dow tells you to get your money out of the bank and, and you control your assets yourself because if you don't physically have what you own in your hands, within arm's reach, or you can't walk on it, uh, or you don't drive it yourself and it's not sitting in your yard with no title or no lean, I mean no lean to it, then you, it doesn't belong to you. Let's go on and see what else it has to say. Additionally, this action against Russia and the Russian Federation could have massive consequences for, the America, uh, for America in regards to foreign policy and even a potential act of war should Russia see fit to perceive Obama's actions as such. And let me tell you something. Everything today is perceived as an act of war. Uh, and, and I'm going to tell you right now, most American people don't realize this and don't understand that America is hated worldwide. We have flexed our military might um, on an unprecedented level. We have expanded the empire of America, which is nothing but the revived Roman Empire, um, far vast the regions um, that Rome ever could. <clears throat> we are occupying... Um, over 130 countries. We have military bases in, in over 900 different sectors of the world. I mean, it's just remarkable and amazing. Let, let me read some more of this right here, what it says right here, all right? Events in the Middle East along with, uh, okay, here, here we go right here. Uh, with NATO and Russia both rattling sabers in the region of Syria, the possible threat of global conflict increased with the new Asset compensation order. All right, events in the Middle East, along with the regime change in Egypt, Libya, and a number of other Arab states, are engulfing Russia, Europe, and the United States into a potential global conflict that could grow quickly into something not seen in 68 years. Um, with President Obama declaring this national, or uh, declaring this state of national emergency and imposing the news. Um, asset seizure on properties owned or controlled by the Russian Federation, the ramifications for war on several fronts, along with the potential of liberties and freedoms lost to the American peoples, has increased to dangerous level. Well, you know, this is just another step towards martial law. This is another step towards restricting um, your freedom and liberties, which comes from the most high itself. Um, and, and everything is trumped up and drummed up, and these are nothing but just phony made-up charges again just to gain more power and influence. You know, everything is always, it seems like it always in the best interest of national security and stuff because these people have what they call so-called intel available to them that's not available to us. 
And you know just as well as I do that their intel is just not reliable whatsoever at all. Um, and it's been proven out over the years. I can't trust um, our government one bit. Um, it's just that, I mean, when I look at the history of it, um, it's, it's just off the chain uh, what we've de you know degenerated to as a society. And American um, uh, people just totally are out of, out of touch with what's going on uh, in, in the world. But I do know this. Uh, a lot of people in the world, those who are informed, now there's not too many people But when you look at the grand scheme of things because look how many of us that are wide awake that are informed on more than one front here uh, in America today, uh, such as the same sentiments across the world. But the people who are informed, they understand that the American people hate what's going on and, and that, it, hey, it seems like we're just totally powerless um, against this beast system uh, to actually oppose and fight it to do whatever because, I, I mean, um, I keep going back to Braveheart. I keep going back to Braveheart. I just don't know how um, the people are going to unite. I don't know how they're going to come together and overthrow this beast system. Um, who knows? I just don't know. But I also know uh, what prophecy says. But, hey, I tell you what. Um, it's not going to be no Cold War. We're looking at uh, collateral damage on an unprecedented scale. And that's the reason why I tell you. You need to start making provisions for you and your family right now, for you and uh, and I'm and hey, and especially if you're in the Most High, you really need to make provisions for the household of faith because um, uh, people today uh, they just literally simply can't be trusted. How can you trust someone that doesn't have a lifestyle that back up the words that they're saying? Um, I, I would take this um, with more than a grain of salt. Uh, I, I would actually use this as a stepping stone to increase my measures. Uh, self-preservation. That's what I would do. Um, if anything else comes up, uh, check out this channel as well as Jason M4.